Welcome back to Let's Read Your Review Together. One star. Vaguely interesting to start, then boring. Designed to feed the egos of smarmy narcissists in search of opportunities to look down on others. No thanks. Ooh. You, you know those people that come to you and ask if you know something just to show that they know it? I never understood that. I love to teach and it's never about showing you that you don't know. It's always about showing you something that you didn't know about. But if I would have made a game with flashcards, you would have remembered nothing. That's because memory works through process in your mind and those processes are helped a lot if you have emotions connected to the learning process. And for example, if one day a truck is about to hit you while you're walking, you will remember it forever. And that's because fear triggers something that makes you remember. At the same time, if someone makes you laugh when you're learning, you will remember it longer because you have an emotion associated to a memory. And that's what I try to do. I try to create an emotion connected to a memory, connected to a search. And that's because the search is the part where you acquire information. So I don't think it's about my ego. At the same time, I think this ego thing comes out a lot. Because if I show myself, then, oh, you're a shitty narcissist. And if you don't show yourself, then you're a coward. And I don't think there's a way to fix this duality. So either I show myself or not. And regardless, I will have someone saying something negative about my choice. Whatever. Pauline, this game really deserves the five stars. Besides from being challenging, which I find many game lacks these days, yes, they do. It has a feeling to it that other games don't have. This game has such a nice handwriting with all the small details that went into it. Thank you. Not only is design absolutely incredible and cool, you can really feel the person behind the game, which is me. You can feel the developer's character in the game. The Easter eggs and the real life quotes really make it personal. I'm addicted. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you, Pauline. I, I think you got the intention behind the game. It's not just me anymore. I got a lot of suggestions from players, um, which is great because I learn a lot. I learn really a lot. Every level people send me, I, I learn something new. So now it became finally, after a year, it became not just a way to, to make people aware of new things, but also to make me aware of new things. So that, that's great. And it is very personal, uh, absolutely. Moist memes. I literally only downloaded these to tell you how absolutely unappealing your YouTube advertising advertisement is. I've never seen a worse, and to be honest, I just felt like some creep broke into my house to sell it to me. Ooh. Think how much. Someone hated me, that he took the effort to download the game, which is 20, 25 megabytes, then click on write a review, then find a nice way to tell me something bad, and then uninstall the app. If they uninstall the app, because I have people like this and then play for six months. But what's wrong with you? Why do you put so much effort in making someone feel worse. Why don't you put the same effort in downloading an app you love the ads from? Saying, man, I love these apps, even if I don't like these kind of games. I just wanted to tell you that. I hope you do that. I hope all of you do that. Don't waste time in making other people feel worse. At least give advices. That's pointless. That just wanted a worse world. Infuriating, 
that the tiles don't open immediately on the first top. It often takes two or three tops, and the self-centered, patronizing comments meant a fast uninstall. When we study at university, there is an accent where we discuss what responsiveness is. And there's a number of milliseconds between an action and a reaction after the while the system seems lagging. And the time that passed between something and something feeling slow really depends on the circumstances. Like I think for a traffic lag is uh, three minutes. After three minutes, you think you're waiting there forever. And on a mouse click, I think it's nine uh, milliseconds. I, I obviously have no idea neither which phone it is or if it's actually slow or if it's not clicking proper. I, I don't know. Maybe it's really slow on her phone. I don't know. Um, but don't get so angry on an app. It's an app. It's not even a person. It's a computer. Why do you get angry at computers? Don't get angry at computer guys. Get angry at me. I left the five star reviews, then send me an email. Say how angry you are at me. Don't, don't do that. Catherine. But I will remove the name because it's an email. So let, let's say Kate. Because everyone is a Kate. So Kate's writing to me. Go to hell with your stupid game. And I reply, are you sure that's the right attitude to life and others? Because I don't really know what to reply to someone like that. Either I ignore them on, or I reply something like that. She replied, don't care. You could be on fire and I would turn off the water. Screw you. I love this image. I, I really love this image. It's, it's an active choice of unhelpness. So, so not, not just I hope you will suffer, but I, I would even actively do something to make you suffer longer. I feel bad for those people. I, I always see this as um, a very hostile world. And it's not a world I live in. I, I live in a happy world. And I think it's a choice. If you help others, you think others will help you. It might not always happen, but if your attitude towards life is that people will help you, you will look for it. For example, if you're walking and you think no one will help you and you're very tired, no one will help you. But if you think people will, you will look around, go try to hijack, you will get help. Not 100% of the time, but the attitude you have towards life will change the way your life goes. Um, for example, if you send an email saying, go to hell, there's zero possibility that you get nice emails back. If you send an email saying, I really love your game, you probably get a good email back, and so on and so forth. So if I put the effort to write an email, normally is to say something nice. I suggest you to do the same, even if those videos would be a lot less funny when I read your comments. That's a one-star review that Kate left. It's a challenging game, which is great. However, it doesn't need to be so mean. My child was crying after getting something wrong a couple of times because it basically called him lazy and stupid. Absolutely ridiculous and not a good way to learn. Shame on you for being so rude for no good reason. This game is PAG-15 in most countries. I, I have no idea uh, what is right or wrong, but you should consider the age that something is targeted for when you install it. Of course, children is a very generic name, maybe they are 25, um, in which case this conversation wouldn't really make sense, but assuming they are below 15, which is an age in which I think a comment can make you cry, I guess. Well, anyway, I can see a point. And that's why I'm going to create an Imexel for teenagers, which will have a nice language and a slightly different structure. Thanks for following up to here. I think I'm going to split this video, so follow me if you're not already. Not literally, just on YouTube. And see you soon.